I mean, it looks good. I'm just not sure it's big enough. Oh, hey, well, uh, I think uh, I think this one might be big enough. Holy jumpets! Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today I'm outside Always Yours Bakery and Cafe A, which is in Castro Valley, California, here doing a giant eclair challenge. Yes, so if you're not familiar with an eclair, it is kind of a baked pastry, which is filled with a kind of vanilla cream, and then it is topped with like chocolate all on top, kind of like a donut in a way, but it's an eclair, very popular all around. There's been many eclair challenges which have gone viral, and this one is giant. This one is over two feet long. Yes, a two feet long eclair. It is absolutely insane. It weighs apparently like six pounds and this thing looks big heavy and dense they have some also edible gold foil on top which is pretty cool um, but yeah so anyway let's go ahead and have fun see some food guys it's gonna be insane I've never done any Claire challenge before so I'm super pumped and uh, yeah so let's go have fun and eat some food and let's get eating I do run so here we are with the eclair it looks absolutely massive and let's just look it really is it's over two feet long this is a huge tray and this thing is so dense so heavy so it is, I guess, the uh, technical, because it is a French pastry. It is a choux dough, choux dough it's called. That's the proper term, the French term. And then it is filled with a vanilla pastry cream, which looks pretty much just like that. Looks really delicious. Topped with this gold foil chocolate uh, topping. Just for uh, comparison, this is a normal eclair. This is the giant one. Actually, that's an interesting image right there. Like. It really is actual size. So yeah, like we said, absolutely giant. This is probably the equivalent of upwards about 30 of these, they figure. I think at least, because this, I mean, when I feel the, how heavy this is and how heavy this is, it is absolutely insane, but looks delicious. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's about it. I'm excited, also a little nervous. This is a very, very large piece of pastry, a very good looking dessert though. So at that, we might as well just get started here momentarily. Let's get started. We'll say the count of maybe one. Let's start right now. Okay, let's grab a, maybe I'll just take a chunk of this eclair. How's it going? Oh, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna try to take a chunk out of this. Okay, oh wow, look at all that cream in there, guys. That looks awesome. All right, anyway, let's get started. We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Ooh, that pastry cream is amazing, guys. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, super buttery, flaky um, pastry, too. Mmm. 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 And that chocolate. I thought this was gonna be really like uh Mmm. I thought it was gonna be really bready, but mmm. Perfect. Mm. I'm definitely gonna be covered in cream by the end of it, but this is gold foil. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mm. And the crunch on that pastry is actually so delicious too. Wow, this is amazing guys. It's super buttery and flaky. Oh my gosh, this is so huge. This is insane. Mm. Mm. I love how loaded it is with the cream too. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here at Always Yours Bakery taking on this absolutely giant eclair challenge. So if you can't tell, this thing was absolutely delicious. It was absolutely giant. You can see like each piece, like that piece on my hands right now is as big as my head and I got a big head. 
and the amount of cream in this was amazing. I can't believe how nice the dough texture was. Delicious. And honestly, it's not even that sweet. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. I also had a tea. They have some teas here too. They like bubble teas and all that good stuff. We were on the quest for the free eclair. Uh, we did have the 30 minutes to complete the challenge. I knew the way to get into this was just gonna be dive on in head first, literally. I knew it might get a little messy, a little creamy, no pun intended, and uh, you know, just get eating. A little much creamy in this. Dessert challenges, it's definitely better to hit them hard right off the bat because they only get more difficult as your blood sugars rise, you know, your body starts to digest the dessert. Um, so like I said, I just kind of wanted to hit this real quick. Um, I'll leave my natural commentary to talk what I thought about the eclair itself, um, but super cool place. Uh, like obviously they have normal size eclairs, but some big items available on special requests as well. And this was definitely a really cool challenge. Delicious, wow. Like I said, it's amazing because I can kind of be a French pastry. They said it's not um, not overly, overly sweet. It's like the perfect amount. Man, they put it's like loaded with cream. This is amazing. Mmm, so much. Let's be honest. There's gonna be a lot of that's what she said moments in this. A lot of moist, a lot of cream top. Mmm, so good though. It had been a long time since I had an eclair prior to this challenge, and I gotta say, this was awesome. I really liked this eclair. It wasn't overly bready. It was just absolutely perfect. But let me know what you think of eclairs down below in a comment. I gotta say, after this one, I like them. Woo! That's a big one. How's it going? I mean, it's delicious. <laughs> Glad it's, you like it. It's Thank huge, you. though. I know, I don't know how you can finish it. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Mm. That's Natalie, that's the owner. Super cool spot. They also have, um, I think, macaroon focus. Mm. Look at all that cream. Mm. Amazing. Whew. Sweet, but amazing. And we are uh, about five, uh, five, almost five heavens in. Yum. However, everybody, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Man, that stuff is good. Wow. All right. I'm pretty sure that's done. I'll clarify with Natalie in the restaurant here momentarily, but holy crap, guys. I gotta say, that was fantastic. I think we're a bit over like six, maybe 6.15, something like that, 6.10. Wow, just like, wow, all I can say. So, <clears throat> excuse me, comments to the bakers. But not only was this amazing, super, 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 super delicious. Like literally the best eclair I've ever had. I haven't had a eclair in a long time. This was absolutely amazing. But man, that thing was like, just so good. The cream was amazing. There's so much of it in there. The chocolate was a great flavor. You know, honestly, it was like the perfect balance of sweetness and not like, and richness, niceness, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't an overly sweet item, which was awesome. Um, hopefully that light is not messing anything up. 
But yeah, so like I said, huge thanks to everybody here, guys. If you're definitely in the area, you definitely got to stop on by. Like, this was absolutely fantastic. And again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend eating one, one this size, although you could definitely feed a whole party. Um, but yeah, definitely get a little eclair like this. And uh, I mean, that that's that's a good bite in itself. And uh, at that, we get the uh, $100 eclair for free. Um, and that's about that, guys. So of course, the next time to happy all the hungry, happy eating. I'm always yours, you know that, I'm always yours, pun intended. And uh, that everyone, like I said, that was amazing. Um, I love that, that was fantastic. So. Um, like I said, stop on by, grab some of the Claire or some of the macaroons, maybe a tea. This is a rose tea. Delicious. Strawberry rose. Mm. A little tartness. It was great with that sweetness, but yeah, that was great. So, of course, the next time, say happy, happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And until uh, next time, everybody, just I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. heading into San Francisco. We just unfortunately had to pay some outrageous toll in a rental car because they charge you all the fees. But here we got some water. Here we got some palms. This is uh, some beautiful looking strip right here. Now this is us crossing from the east into the city. Um, I don't really know the name of the bridge or whatever, but that's the Lions Gate straight ahead. I can see that, that's, so we'll have to get a photo there later. But yeah, we got some uh, water. It looks not too, too, too bad. It looks interesting. Um, but yeah, guys, so good stuff. I'm excited to see what San Francisco has to offer. This will be my first time in San Francisco and or, well, yeah, my first time this far north. Super cool. Look at this. I'm excited. And here's some more of this bridge. And then we have the city over there. Some more water. Looking cool, actually. It looks, San Francisco looks really unique right here. I don't know how much you guys can, detail you guys can see, but it looks cool. There we have the bay. And here we are downtown. Look, there's an underview of the bridge. Very gorgeous. Um, we, was, we just passed a pier. It's called, they call it Mercadero. I think we passed Pier 26. Um, very beautiful down here, though. Epic. I think that's a, that's a steakhouse I wanted to go to. Ah, interesting. I'll remember that. Um, yeah, we are by this big arrow. I don't know what that is, but it nonetheless looks pretty cool. Um, some really interesting architecture on that building. It's like all crinkled. Uh, almost looks like a leaning pow tower of something something. And uh, yeah, guys, this is uh, this is pretty. Um, I mean, obviously I'm in a vehicle, but I think to like, we'll have to find a place to get out have the opportunity to, to walk around, see some sights, see the, the piers and the bridges. Cause this is wicked. Super, super awesome. It's actually like, like this is super pretty. I'm impressed. Look at these buildings. It's just like they're old, but they're gorgeous. Beautiful day. Hi everyone, so we parked, we made it downtown, we're outside Pier 1, yes, Pier 1 here in San Francisco. Beautiful view behind me, the buildings, and there's some really old uh, streetcars, I'll show you those if we, they go by again here, but anyway, I don't know, I don't know what's in this, but uh, let's see if we can go in this, and uh, I don't, I'll be honest guys, I know nothing about San Francisco and or the Bay Area, not a thing, but... Here we are, this is the inside of Pier 1. Now there's more distinguishable piers that people go to. A lot of them have like famous restaurants and food, but this whole strip um, has all kinds of different things. But wow, look at this, look at this, look at this view. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. This is awesome. And this is what I was looking at. Look at this guys. Now I will say it's actually pretty cold today. 
Everybody got their winter coats on, but look at the bridge. Wow. That is a, that is a scenic view. We got some ship doing something. I don't know, some kind of passenger ferry or whatever. Yeah, this is wicked. Just look at this site. Gorgeous, everybody. And then the city, the city by the bay. So I'm probably going to uh, walk out to the end of the pier here and then we'll just kind of see what else comes our way. And this is the end of the pier. And it, I mean, let's be honest, guys, this is, this is pretty. Look at that, that sign says, the port of San Francisco. I like it. I hopped right next door and there's a building that they call the Marketplace. Now this place smells awesome. We have people with like empanadas, there's chocolate shops, there is a caramel honey company. There is uh, everything smelling good. I do got to say it is awakening the appetite. All while if you like, oh look, we got a, uh, a bagel place, not open at the moment. But uh, yeah, a little happening spot. We got wines and different stores. All while literally like being right in the by the water. The water is literally all right there. Um, but yeah, I do I got to say, cool little cool little spot to kind of you know check out the marketplace. They call it after all. It is definitely a little marketplace. So yeah, okay, I dig, I dig. So far, San Francisco, I approve. So still with that gorgeous and beautiful view of that bridge. Here we have that big arrow, the bow and arrow that I uh, we drove by. It was just a little bit of a walk, maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes down the road. Let's say 10. So no clue what this is about, but pretty cool. Big old bow and arrow going into the ground. It is giant. And then over here, there's someplace called Hill Hills Rose Coffee. I'm assuming that's a favorite or famous coffee place just based on the big sign and location. Again, just gorgeous downtown views. The buildings have a very unique look. It kind of reminds me of uh, not this part, but these buildings kind of remind me like downtown Miami. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's I've, I have no clue what to expect of San Francisco, but it's awesome so far. This is pretty cool. You actually have a uh, the fire department in a pier. And then the next big pier I see is Pier 26. So we started about Pier 1, we made it to 26. There's that coffee place and everything. I'm gonna go up to this pier, uh, see what it's all about, then we're gonna turn around because we gotta head out. And I walked past the pier, I actually walked under the bridge. Um, but yeah, just some more sights, some more views. There was a Giants game today. So there's like lots of parking, people really busy down here. Um, everybody has their attire on. I'm assuming the game or field or somewhere or stadium was around here somewhere. But uh, if not, everybody got their uh, merch on their uh, attire for sure. But anyway, let's get a quick jaywalk going here and let's, uh, let's cross over guys. This is super cool. We're heading to a place called Chrissy Beach. Um, I'm meeting up with some fam and uh, yeah, so that should be good. But yeah, this little area of San Fran was really great. And I definitely hope to get down here and see a little bit more. And outside the marketplace, which we didn't see before, there's this little like plaza, some uh, big monument, just uh, a little sight to be seen. There's also this really cool fountain um it's like bricks and blocks and stone looking and this big green space which is pretty dang nice again i'm super impressed and there's pier one that's where basically we started off we're just parked right over here but yeah this is super impressive i uh i gotta say san francisco you are a beautiful city very very gorgeous yeah there's that uh it's like brick and blocky. It's this uh, fountain. Don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try to get racing here. So I'll save the view for today, but yeah, gorgeous.